Hey guys, welcome back to D&D with Filthy and Friends. Uh, just a quick recap. Uh, I did lose just a couple minutes here. Sorry about that. There was an issue with um, stopping the OBS recording via opening task manager because I was worried about CPU usage because I wanted to make sure the recording was working and therefore canceled it. So well done me. Um, it's a very brief recap, though. We only missed a couple minutes. Basically, we followed the, the trail up to the top of a hill and we determined that nothing was there. Basically, they had used magic to escape from there. And then we've gone down and started to camp for the night. And that's our plan. Part of the plan is we're okay with the idea of being ambushed here because we might potentially flush out some people. So we're not taking any particularly uh, extensive precautions not to be seen. We've lit a large raging fire, etc., and are, are settling in for the night to scout around the area a little bit in the morning. So, all right, let's continue. Wacky fun. Yeah, wacky fun. <laughs> okay, so we're at the campsite. All the horses are around. Um, I'm not sure I must hide them up. Okay. Uh, correct. And what do we want to do? I'll take first watch. Uh, as soon as uh, he goes to take first watch, I sit down not too far from the campfire. Uh, and when I sit down from the campfire, uh, slowly, but also seemingly out of nowhere, uh, an old uh, gray Irish wolfhound uh, walks up. Uh, could easily be 10 years old. Kind of haggardly hair, but otherwise, you know, healthy enough looking. Uh just kind of walks over and just uh, falls asleep next to me. I'm going to peer at it and say, Brad? Yes. <laughs> what is it? From like, from, like this, from over your shoulder behind you, you hear Brad. Replying. I'm going to be very confused. Oh, what a magnificent creature. <sighs> Grilta. What I, is I, his and, name? Uh, uh, I've never, not my dog. Don't give it. Uh, don't give it a name. Not my place. Uh, and then mm. I take a bit of potato from earlier and I break off a piece uh, and I hand it to Brad for Brad to give it to the dog. It's like I, a little treat. I start eating it. I sort of missed <laughs> that and start eating it myself. I I understand that equity is important in dog kind of behavior, so I still I make eye contact with the dog and I break off another piece of potato and feed the potato to the dog. So as you like lock eyes with the dog and hand it the potato, it kind of just fades away as if it wasn't there. And I, I wow. I am I'm I'm a little ways away. I'm not keeping a watch like right next to the fire. So hold on. I just got bit, magical ghost dogged. Yeah. Yeah, you did. I did. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to put the potato away cuz I'm going to assume it's got some very strong hallucinogenic properties. <laughs> um and I'm going to just uh keep a mental note of where I put that potato uh just in case I want some of the good stuff later. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to spud Spud, uh, potatoes. Spud, Spudnik. Uh, what was your name? Oh, yeah, you can just call me Spuds. Spuds, great. Are the potatoes hallucinogenic, perchance? Well, we did grow a few, uh, wacky nightshade potatoes back on the farm, but I didn't bring any of those ones with me. Are you sure? <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm, like, digging through the bag of potatoes. I, ha like, I have this yeah. mental image of Spuds and, like, Uncle Spuds, like, working in this, like, it's got, like, a camouflage tarp over it, and it's just a small <laughs> patch of potatoes that look totally normal, but there's, like, barbed wire and camo, like, netting on top. Steve, you just roll inside, probably. I, I take a moment. Uh, I'm further back, keeping watch, and I thank my I thank Lord Tenyo for his blessing of the perfect uh, way to bait out potentially would be attackers. That this this group is so clearly incompetent that I believe this is a gift from my God sent to me to help find the find these ambushers. Oh. I like you, optimistic filthy. This when you're looking good. at Spuds telling you about not bringing these potatoes, you're not sure whether he is sure about his answer. But you're also not sure whether you're sure about the whole thing. Oh, I see. None of the hallucinogenic stuff, eh? And I give him a <laughs> wink, and then I just start eating the potato more vociferously. I wouldn't Good have news. any idea what a wink would signify, even. <laughs> I'm fairly certain. So I just start, I'm going to go over to the fire and, like, dump out, like, a dozen potatoes to start, like, baking them, like, along, uh, like, stuff them in the coals. Mm -hmm. nice. You know, in the East, they like their food raw and hallucinogenic. 
They really cleans you out in the morning. Yeah, nothing's better than a nice raw potato, but nothing puts me to sleep like a baked one. Uh, listening to this totally inane conversation from like the hilltop behind them, I just start securing my shield and my weapons. I'm I'm convinced that this moment just, is absolutely the time that combat. anyone would be attacking them. They're so clearly <laughs> unready for it that I'm like, I'm getting ready for that moment. Okay. Uh, I'm going to flush take them out yet, some... Tenyo. <laughs> well, this is all like occurring. What does Odiri do? I just feel like she's trying to nap because I don't have first watch, right? Right, I do. She's just trying to sleep. Okay. Is she having trouble sleeping? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh dearie. Loud as fuck. Yeah, oh dearie. I mean, uh... Oh, that's funny. That's how I say oh dearie. Oh dearie <laughs> me. Would you like a potato? I'd prefer silence. Oh. Spuds, do you have any silence? Well, I don't think I've got any silence potatoes on me. They're pretty rare to come by in these parts. Uh, well, it's too bad. I'll see what I can do, dearie. I I say, uh, I got the best next thing, and I uh, reach into my bag, and I take out a length of hemp rope, cut it with my hunter's knife, and then uh, light one end on fire and begin okay. choking on it. <laughs> and then hand it to her. I'm going to stare at it and go, what the fuck is this? Uh, it's a uh, pinch of hemp rope. A uh, pinch will do it a pinch. <coughs> I'm going to throw it into the fire. Oh, wow. Oh, that's going <laughs> to make it much stronger there. <laughs> I'm going to walk over to the fire and I'm going to just start huffing in a uh, combination. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brad, Brad starts and, uh, dancing around. He, like, takes his shirt off. Can you make a constitution yeah. save, Dolphin? Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I can do that, no problem. So, uh, everyone, like, so Grill goes in and, like, <sighs> like, takes in a big, a big, big breath, and, like, we see Brad kind of, like, you know, hop skipping around, and, like, like, Grill sort of looks up to the sky, and then just falls completely back onto the floor, completely unconscious. Yeah. Oh, oh no. it reminds me of my two weeks of college. <laughs> Oh, okay, God. I am now asleep. Yeah. Perfect. I say that should provide a little bit of extra silence and roll over and try to go back to sleep. I told you it would work. Yeah, it did. It's true. <laughs> okay. No one has offered to take second watch, um, but I I assume that's again because they're all totally incompetent. So I yeah. I wake I I after my my first two hours and nothing. I don't know. Does anything happen during my two hours? So if it were not, I want to. If you not, get a very strong scent of potatoes and then burning rope. Okay, so I, at, towards the end of my watch, um, creep down and kind of quietly shake Odiri awake and uh, say, your watch, um, so far, perfect. The idiots seem to have baited the trap. Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> and then I will um, I'll be like, I'll be here to, uh, to be near them, to keep them alive when clearly they, they'll be the first to fall if I'm not here. But uh, keep watch for the next next portion and i'll i'll ready my stuff i'll sleep here but i'm sleeping with my like weapon perfect. near me and like in my armor and then... perfect i'm gonna oh, sorry i was gonna say when was... he says that part about keeping us alive i'm gonna throw up a little bit in my sleep <laughs> tell you you I'm... test me yeah okay i'm gonna um kind of clap a yugen on the shoulder and just silently walk past to the hilltop okay uh, as I'm going to sleep, I'll take some, some some potato rounds and put them over my eyes as I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I was wondering how you kept your eyes looking so fresh. <laughs> yeah, that's really what keeps the ladies interested, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Oh, do we get to the top of the hill? You roll me perception? I will roll you a perception. Where the fuck... That is nice. 21. Okay. Um, you can get a clear sight around you. The, the night is beginning to get quite cold. Um, and being away from the fire, you are sort of beginning to feel the chill of the air around you. It's very still. Um, there's like a mist beginning to form over the lower tops of the, sorry, the tops of the lower hills. Uh, sort of um, from your position, you can see uh, this happening quite all around you. And the moonlight is kind of shining across. You can see, um, as you sort of look around, 
in sort of the north and eastern side. Not really much is going on. You see a couple of creatures moving around, animals that you'd think they might be. And then as you look uh, across to the west and sort of south area, um, you think you might see some figures or something moving a bit slower um, in that direction that you might... It could be a person or it could be a creature, but it's definitely moving with some kind of uh, purpose rather than like a random jaunt of an animal. I think if it was moving with purpose, I would assume it's a intelligent creature. Um, does the mist look unnatural to me or does it just like that's just a like a that's normal? Just normal. Yeah. OK, cool. Um, I'm going to. Mm... Oh, dear, he's pretty. Yeah, I would probably make my at least a Yugen aware of the fact that it seems like something is approaching on the west. So I'm going to come back to the. What would you say to the party? And sh uh, gently shake him awake and go, something approaches from the west. Excellent. The trap is <laughs> baited and sprung. Let's retire slightly away from him, give them the the impression that this camp is unguarded and vulnerable. And uh, I'll kind of creep up with her into the trees, kind of overlooking and let the other three sleep. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. Let uh... us not wake the fools. Yes. <laughs> Two sinister fucks. So you guys can see there's like, um, as you like get up to the sort of the middle of the, the large hill that you're cresting and looking at the area that Odiri spotted, you can see what looks to be like three shapes or forms. They're not coming like at the camp. They seem to be kind of maneuvering around it from like the western side towards the southern side. Um, if you don't sort of take any action, they seem to just be continuing to walk on past around you. Not to be too meta, but I will be meta right now. Uh, there were the other three adventurers, right? We know that the group of people... We're looking for three elves and three humans dressed in teal robes with white turbans. That was the thing right. that I wrote down. Yep. So, But this is only three people. And right. we can't see any... Like, we can't see how they're dressed. We can't see... No, we can just see distance. their shapes. And when you say uh, they, probably... if we don't do anything, they will continue moving. Can you, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not clear, entirely clear on the the relation of their movements to the camp. Are they moving closer to the camp or around it to avoid it? Or yeah, kind of. It looks like they're just kind of going past it, as if like they've they've, they've moved further away. But, like they they looked like they were probably going to go through it, and then uh, it, now they've kind of adjusted course to kind of go around like the southern part of it and keep heading away. Because we're right on the path. So it seems like they would be intentionally avoiding us. I presumed you like path. moved away from the path, like went to a hill well, nearby. Yeah, you are still, like still kind of you're quite, quite close. No. Obvious as possible. I put a straight smack dab in the fucking middle of the road for camping. Yeah. Sure. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm like Snorlax right now. I'm just <laughs> sat down right there in the middle of it, also with a little bit of vomit. Okay, great. So uh, yeah, then they are kind of I guess move around you, and then um, you see them sort of going. I, I hiss to Odiri, cowards, even the fools are scaring them off. Perhaps we'll bring the fight to them. Excellent idea. All right. Let, yeah, let's approach. How far away are they? Uh, I would say maybe 100 to 150 foot. Stealth is not my forte. Would you like to try to get closer before I break cover and route them? Yes, I'll do that. So I'll try to approach them, but like in the dark, trying not to be seen. To get a better look at who this is. Why are you giggling? What are you going to do? I just want to see like a dating show where uh, Yugen is like the bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Be pretty funny. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So I'm approaching them as quietly and stealthily as I can be. Trying to hang a little bit back so that, as to not be seen. Okay. You want to roll me some stuff? Oh, I'd love to do that. <clears throat> do you have advantage for a reason, or have you just got everything on advantage? I feel like I can't. I don't know how to turn off my advantage. That's okay. That's fine. We'll just. That's so okay. it's just, we'll I'm keep, going we'll with just, the roll on we'll the We'll keep left. it like sure. that, and then we'll just. Yeah, we'll just use it like that. Just yeah. Okay. And then are you going to just wait? Yep. Okay. How do I turn that off? So, the um. There's a toggle at the top. Yeah, but. Am I fucking blind? 
Possibly. I, I can show you how to in the break if you like. It's really easy. <laughs> Possibly. Okay, cool. I'll do that later. Why the hell is nothing doing this? Oh, oh. there it is. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, anyway. uh, okay, so you approach uh, the group, and um, as you get. Do you have dark vision, do you? No. no, I do not have dark vision. Okay, so <laughs> as you like come down the hill and you're walking past the camp, you, you yeah. can kind of still make out the shadows and the forms. Uh, mm -hmm. As you break past the camp's sort of outer limit of its light, you're now in almost complete darkness, apart from the moonlight. Um, you see that these forms seem to be moving from like small hill to small crest, but because it's so dark and they're, they're probably now maybe within 80 to 100 foot away, but mm -hmm. you can't make out any detail because of how far away they are. And they don't have torches or anything either? They're walking in complete darkness? From what you can see. That's moonlit to some degree, right? So, yeah. Well, because I think I'd be able to tell if they were walking with torches when you say. Yes, it would absolutely. Be like... Yeah, they would yeah. stick out like incredibly well. Yeah. So I would say. And this is thing. this is somewhere between like two and four hours into the night, and we went to bed about midnight. So this is around three or four a.m. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sinister. Yeah. The witching hour. That's right. Doesn't seem like. What a... do you want to do? Um, well, if I can't make anything out, I would probably go back to camp and let my good bud know. Um, I can't see anything. I can't discern who they are. <laughs> oh, no. What is happening? I am surrounded by idiots. <laughs> <laughs> the scout has come, gone out and come back and been like, it's dark out. It's dark out. I can't see shit. <laughs> I have discerned nothing. All right. Well, and I, I can still see them kind of okay, creeping I'll, around. Go ahead. So I, I, as, you, as you make your way back, because I'm going to have to give you something, Jay, because you, know, you, you all can't work with anything. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, so as, as you, you, you make out that they, they make it to the road, and they begin heading south. Mm -hmm. So they just basically crept around our camp and then avoided us and continued to continue on the road? Yeah, down like a dirt path. Yeah. yeah. OK, I'll relay that information. But then. you don't know, like, what they are, what they're carrying. You saw them cloaks, probably. But they're definitely humanoid in some way. But... Okay. And, and I couldn't tell if home... they were wearing, like, there was any headpieces because we're looking for no. teal robes and white turbans, so I can't like, even... You might... You, I guess they could have had hoods and cloaks, but you, you, that's just, like, you You figure that that's what people will be wearing. Honest point. men do not creep mm -hmm. around this hour of the night, and I will... Uh... I will take off at a run directly at them, yelling as oh, okay. loudly as I can. What do you yell? And I yell. Do you just start yelling? Awake! Away, like, battle like, is joined! And I draw my warhammer and rush them. Okay, perfect. Yeah. How loud? As loud as I can. Louder than I actually did it out of character there. Ooh. I'm going to let everyone roll perception at advantage. Yeah. See oh. You oh. Well, you're fine. I crushed it. Just after okay. I removed my advantage roll. Here we go. Well, you don't need to. You're awake. Oh, of course. <laughs> Spuds. Well, to be fair, you Groot. did say everyone. But you hear it really, really well because he runs past you bellowing. Perfect. In fact, it probably hurts you a little bit as he does this. Damn it. We'll Some paladin minute. down the road. I feel like I recognize him from somewhere. He seems to be attacking an innocent group of travelers. <laughs> Wake up. Grill, Wake you up. Think you can hear like the first like the first bellow you think you can kind of hear in your sleep but not quite and then like brad starts like speaking yeah. directly to you and I, i'm gonna like, get out of character uh, steve i almost i almost went with a slightly different paladin and uh one of the things i was doing was collecting dark heresy quotes and uh one of the ones i really liked was innocence proves nothing which would have i think <laughs> absolutely perfect in this scenario <laughs> um if people want to roll initiative i'm just gonna answer the door sure okay. Initiative. Yeah. Can't oh, wait to find out card, what we're attacking. Uh, uh oh. Unlucky. My character, especially from his time spent in the war, knows how to kind of wake up quickly and respond and just like immediately get up and get sure. ready for a fight. Sure. Uh, but he also does throw up as he does all of this. All right. Of it's course. telling me I wanted to send the results of this Click roll. Click on your to token tracker. first. Oh uh, yeah, like select your token by like. Oh clicking. okay. And then when you're gonna roll another one and just edit it to twelve when it pops up for your first roll. Okay. Yeah, 
I don't know how to edit it. Sure, just here. click on the turn order, the list that's actually popped up. Click on the oh, number yeah. next to your token, and then... Okay, got it. Okay. Yep. Did that. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, so, what's your base movement, Kelpie? Uh, 30. But I am absolutely dashing. How big is this map? Is this big enough to represent? Confidence is key. Yeah. And I am not angry or fearful or any of these things. I'm joyous. This is a joyous bellow of, uh, of combat being joined. Perfect. Okay, so um, we'll just, for the sake of the map, you, the north is to the west and the south is to the east. So you're coming at them from the west. Sure. At them. Okay, I won't remember that. I just care. I just, I got it though. That's so fine. you're yeah. telling us why I'm um, not running in a different direction. Got it. You're going to be, say, how far away? Okay. Like, no, I'll tell you a bit closer, actually. Probably here. Um, everyone else will be one round out. Well, I guess Odiri can be... I don't know, what does Odiri do when he starts running? I would have run after him, but let him lead for sure. Okay, so we'll say your... What's your base speed? Uh, 25, I think. Okay, so we'll say you are, like, 15 feet behind him. I'm a little halfling. Sure. And then everyone else is one more round up. Okay. Okay. Um, Grilt's actually first, but we'll let you take the first turn because you have pursued. So you so as you come, you've got dark vision, right? Yeah. Uh, so as you come running down the road, you see um, three humanoids in um, like general like leather jerkins and what you would definitely class as bandit attire. One of them is carrying what looks like um, a bow. And a sword on their hilt. The other, the others two have um, swords in their hand. Uh, they're all wearing cloaks and hoods. Uh, what is it you bellow at them as you approach? Oh, I, I yell to as I run by the camp. I yell, "Awake, battle is joined." As I see their bandits, okay. as I get closer, I yell, "It's a bad night to be a bandit!" And it's just like pure glee in my voice of of this. So they they kind of like arrange themselves almost in like a triangle formation, like as you're sort of coming at them. Um, and you can see like they're whispering a few things to each other, and then you can take your turn. Okay. Well, I, I my turn is to move sixty foot directly towards them. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we skip grilt. Skips. Yeah. Um, I will give you your turn now. Please. And as I'm so running, yes. I'm kind of like whirling my warhammer, just like getting that swing going, because I'm expecting to be uh, inserting this warhammer into somebody very shortly. I'm picturing this like dancing in the rain. Like he's just kind of like so happy with the prospect of combat. He's just twirling around his warhammer like an umbrella. That's, it's beautiful. It's close to that. It's a rich. It's a it's a spiritual communion between myself and my god. That looks a lot it's like that. It's a good. It's healthy. So this guy okay. uh, circles around the back of you and like comes at you with um, like a short sword blade attack. Okay. Uh, Twenty-two. Twenty-two is gonna hit. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll shield it. Spell, so yeah. yeah, he tries to uh, he yeah. tries to swing behind me, and I just call upon the, my god's magic, and it's just like this barrier appears as he strikes me. He kind of looks like because he he, he he sort of saw the way the blow was going, and he was like you know sure to hit you, and he looks absolutely shocked as the magical barrier sort of throws throws him off a little bit, and he sort of staggers backwards. Um, his friend um, kind of takes a sort of side step in his square, and we move to a deuce. So. Okay, I can only move. 25, 1, mm -hmm. 2, 3, 4, 5. I think even if I took a double, because I can dash. Well, you're, you're also a rogue, so as a bonus, yeah, as rogue has cunning action. As a bonus action, yeah. you can always use a bonus action to dash if you want, and still have okay. your action up. And then if you wanted to, you could use your action to dash as well. So you could move 25 three times if you did nothing else, or twice if you wanted to do something else. That's really powerful. Yeah, really um, cool. Yep. Yeah, open menu for both. I think I'm going to. These are law. Oh no, those are those other beds. Ignore those. Uh, ignore those. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I'm not going to move into. Oh, can I have cover if I'm behind this rock? Yes. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna stay there then, just because I the, I can probably see the bows since they're pretty close to that. Is the fire not there either? No. No. But I can't no. remove that. It's part of the <laughs> you're, Yeah, yeah. Makes you're sense. just running around in the dark. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so then I wouldn't know that so, there's a... Yeah, to be clear, did you okay. take cover or did you stumble over a rock and fall down there? I was going to say, if I you <laughs> tried roll, to do that... Let's see. Roll a d100. 
If you okay. get under 50, you've tripped. Uh, 1d100. Brutal. Nice. Okay, so you trip over a rock and you catch your footing and then your hands brace you up against the larger rock in front of you. And like as you peek around, the, you yeah. can actually see the four silhouettes in the moonlight. You just can't mm -hmm. see any detail on them. You know that like... And you can like, hear me. I'm having a blast. Like, you're, you're yeah. you probably taller than a human. Yeah. Uh, so say... I'm sorry, did so you, you ask if say... I was tall? Yes. Yeah, you and see. So how tall is your character? Uh, about six foot. Yeah, so there's like a there's one silhouette that's big, bulky, and armor with the shield that's one foot higher than the other guys. And I have and... I have an antler helm on, so like it has right. it, it's pretty it's it's a unique silhouette. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Obviously, I wouldn't know that there was a archer, so I'm gonna keep moving. I think I can make it to about here, which is behind right behind you. Okay. Okay. Cool. And I'll stop there. That's my turn all right so this guy he will move five, 10, uh he all draws his bow back and he will take a shot at uh so as you're kind of running up behind his friend he takes a shot at you um but 25 will hit you with a crit Yikes. so you take seven uh this one that's what probably do um, and then we skip Brad. It's this guy's turn. He steps forward and he will take a sword swing against you. Sure. Um, 23. Nope. It's the shield. And then Grilt appears uh, on our side of the map here. Okay. I'm going to probably end up dashing. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and then I will dash in. One, two, five. Uh, I'm actually coming through there. Well, instead of going up one, I'll go down one. Okay. So everyone can tell that these are, um, as you approach, that these are elves. Elves? Um, okay. Yeah. I'll uh, end my turn, by the way. All right. Spuds. Appearance. All right. <clears throat> like at the same pace. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll cast light on my uh, on my quarter staff hoe, and uh, I think that should be called a hoe staff. A hoe staff. That's a good name. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Perfect. A quarter. And then I'll move. Uh, I'll move forward because I can't see. Can't see nothing. Mm -hmm. You just see. I guess you're kind of almost running in pace with the grill. I would feel like. So you see him running ahead of you, and you're trying to yeah. find him. All right. Well, I can I can move thirty, right? As a yeah. human. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that's as far as I can go. One. Okay. okay. And then, are you gonna? I think we just changed your name on your token. Oh yeah, I did. Or was it? Is that yeah. the sheep? I don't know why it says that. It's a u. It's a y u g e n. A u g e n. Okay. okay. <laughs> that's, right. that's so. I will, uh, I will kind of, I'll bellow again, uh, this time saying, uh, surrender now and one of you might live. And then I'll attack, uh, the one in between myself and, um, Odiri. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so 16. Yeah. Strike him with the warhammer. I, the I'm going to add a smite to that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that plus, so it hits, he takes 24. Okay, so is there like a representation of the smite on your weapon? Or oh, it... absolutely. Uh, this is an explosive uh, outpouring of divine energy uh, right where my Warhammer impacts him, preferably blowing him uh, as far away as I can. Okay, or... um, so you kind of hit him in the in the like the left elbow with a normal blow and then it gets empowered. His arm breaks entirely, hits him in the chest, and the force throws him on top of Odiri, throwing Odiri down. Uh, for a moment, and she you know, sort of recovers. Um, Unlucky. This elf just lies dead at your feet, no doing. Um, after being dead. Perfect. Yeah. Right where it should be. And I, I, I say again, uh, surrender now, and one of you might live. Your turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. My turn. You yeah. Okay. See um... The uh, the guy that's like fifteen foot away from you, because you're a bit closer now, you can see a bit more detail. He seems okay. to be a lot more hesitant 
in his actions now and sort of maybe taking a step or two backwards. All right, if he takes a step away from me, I'm going to hit him. So do, does he get that opportunity? No, he doesn't, he, no it's just like he's moving, like, like he stagger. squares like five foot, so he's like yeah. just sort of, you know, being a gotcha. bit more wary of the big guy in front of him that just killed his friend in one hand. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm going to um, move forward then and attack. <laughs> Oh, wait, who am I going to? Oh, that's you. That's my friend. Okay, so one, two. And then I'm going to use... What do I have? What are my abilities? I have sneak attack. I have... Perfect. Okay, Um, I'm just going to attack him. Okay. With a yell. Um, And then... Oh, my God. Sorry. Windows 10 just tiled all of my stuff on top of each other. Okay. Um... Does that hit? Yep, yeah, sticks in a hit. Okay, and then I... Would you like to update? Don't. And then I think I roll for my... Sneak attack. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and it's just... What was it again? It was extra dice per level or something? So it's... Yeah, it's basically one six, level. D6, I believe. Yeah. She's level three. But you said... So it's three d six, right? No, no, it's not three. It's uh, it scales up. For that. I'd have to. Open, I, I can't with the you know overlay setup. I think setup. it's honestly just one d six right okay, now. Cool. Sure. I'll just do that for now. And I'll double check it um, okay. after this turn. Roll one d six. There we go. So it's actually two d six. Two d six. Yeah. Okay, I'll just roll right. another one. I think it's every. I think it's every two levels. Yeah, it's it every other level. Eye. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, cool. So there we go. So extra six damage. So sixteen. Ooh, cool, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And this is with a rapier. Uh, it is, yeah. Okay, so uh, you come come forward towards him, and like the rapier strikes the guy in like the left thigh flank, and blood just like sprays all across, uh, you know, whatever you're wearing. Um, nice. This seems like a pretty severe wound, but the guy is sort of still still going. He uh, calls out to his friend, "Maybe we should surrender." Uh, so it's uh, sixteen. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I can. Do I get the impression that they're like? So he said, maybe we should surrender. He's not really looking like he's going to fight back. So it's the, other, it's the other guy's turn after you, or did you want to do something else? Well, it's just I can disengage. I can do my like. What is that? I have some ability. Cutting action. Yep. Cutting, that's exactly Cutting what action. it is. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You so, but I'm not going to do that if it looks like they're not going to like. If it looks like he's not. Interested. So in... the guy that you stabbed, like, yeah. looks over to his friend, and his friend kind of looks over at him, meeting his eyes for a moment. Yeah. And then, like, um, slowly lowers his bow. Yeah, I'm um, not gonna disengage then. Yeah. And I'll then just stay the, the first guy like drops his sword on the floor. Perfect. Stay Brad where arrives. I am. Uh, what did you say? Brad. Oh, Brad arrives. Okay. Oh, Spuds, it looks like some excitement's happening up ahead. I'm done. <laughs> oh, good turn. So this guy, like, um... What would you like to do? Throws his sword down, and he goes, Please, please, I surrender. Let's, please let me tend my wound. What does the uh, archer do? Is it my turn? He, like, lowered his bow. Okay. Like almost in response, he's like he's kind of waiting for a response to see what you guys are doing. So, like, so he's held his action. Okay. Uh, Grill, you hear this this voice a few feet ahead of you, asking to tend his wound. Well, asking that you, you know, asking that I give him space or like can surrender he... so that he can yeah. treat himself. Okay, uh, I'm gonna walk up. Um, I'm gonna lift my uh, great club over my head. <laughs> Drop it. I'm gonna reach into a pouch on my shoulder, take out a good berry. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna reach out over to his wound, uh, crush the good berry, and kind of smash it all over onto his bloody wound as if to treat it. Does that do that? Uh, it, I it's got <laughs> healing properties when you eat it. I don't, I mean, I assume when you. <laughs> like, wound. Okay, so, um. <laughs> yeah, you do I, this? I think this is what causes infection, if I'm understanding this correctly. He screams in pain. Um, and he's going to lose another hit point. Okay. <laughs> um, and he's like, Ah, oh, what are you doing? Get off me, you strange, filthy mongrel! Yeah, I'm, uh... 
Eh, it's just the pain talking, this will help. Spuds? Yeah, those, uh, those good berries, they sting like the dickens. <laughs> <laughs> and turn. <laughs> and turn. And turn. Are you again? Uh, this man screams on pain in front of you, but he is. Archer, put down your bow and you might yet live. And I'll rush towards him. Okay. Uh, oh, dearie. Um, I'm going to. What is it? This guy in front of me is not raising his weapon to me, right? He's just dropped it on the floor, and he's like now laid. He's kind of like sat on the floor, like clutching his thigh, where you stabbed him with the rapier. Blood's still coming out, and it's now like, it's now like a, a mixture of like a red and purplish liquid because it's coming out with the, the good berries as well. Oh right, because you're dealing with him. Okay, I'm gonna move. One, two, three, I'm dealing with him. four. I'm gonna <laughs> run after my good bud, Ayugan, but not attack this archer. I'm just going to be standing here okay. watching his flank. Death it comes to the, uh, the archer's, more berries, so it depends archer's on him. turn, and he like he just lets go and puts his hands up. You are out, come back. Great. Cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, the please, episode, please. Right? I've seen how strong you are. You terrifying creature. Please don't kill us. Um, I'm currently coated in blood from the first guy that I splattered across the uh, the area here, and I'm a mm -hmm. large man in green mossy armor with antlers and a bloodthirsty right? grin. Uh, yeah, but I'm very humanoid looking. Like these are, are you, okay. pure bloods, almost entirely humanoid looking. If you look oh, into my okay. eyes long enough, you'll see kind of it's a little bit different, but it's not much visibly that way. Um, I will. Uh, uh, much like filthy in real so life. Is yeah. it more like you just have like? The images I'm seeing have like slightly paler skin and eyes, as you say, but like you look yeah, still like you know. red hair, yeah. things like that. Cool. Um, All right. I'm gonna uh, drag the uh, archer. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, submit to being bound to the archer, and uh, attempt to uh, basically tell him to kneel on the ground, and I'll tie his hands behind his back. Please, please heal my friend, and he like he puts his arms behind his back. I get a good berry out. Uh, <laughs> no. I I walk over to uh, the guy who's kind of in pain over by uh, Grilt and um, it looks like who's that next to him? Mm, oh, it's Brad. Brad. Yeah, it's Brad. Like Grilt and Brad, and uh, I'll say, as I said, one of you might live, and then I'll slit his throat with my uh, my ceremonial dagger, and I'll say, Tenyo, this gift, this combatant is gifted to you, and then I will uh, uh, sink to my knees in prayer. As I let blood Do I in his name. Recognize you, sir. You're not much of a people person, are you? I are you talking is, is Brad addressing he's, me? He's talking I'm to talking enjoy. to you, yes. Yeah, I'm addressing my god, so I'm not really interested in what Brad has to say at this moment. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I turn to Grilt and I say, He hasn't attacked you, has he? I'm uh, kind of dumbfounded because uh, this man was at least partially in my arms when this happened because I was. Uh, yeah, you were holding him for me. You were holding him, and he just yeah. I was up. basically holding him, so uh, I'm just kind of like looking in this arm because I'm like a ba pretty battle hardened dude, but I just appear to be like looking at him, you know, dead and cold in my arms mm -hmm. as I just stare at him, in a tense moment, a sad, somber moment. Uh, Seeing a good berry, neat one. Yeah, seeing the emotional connection between Grilt and this uh, this mammal, I sort of expect it to evaporate by magic again, like the dog. Yeah. So I okay. step back. Part of the reason I'm not suspicious. more upset by this is because I'm fairly sure I'm still hallucinating. The, the guy that he's holding is feeling. definitely fading in a similar way to the dog, except it's more like the blood is being drained from him because he's dying. Yeah, none of this is real anyways. As I take oh. another chunk of potato. He said you'd help him! The other bandit starts, like, you know, sort of trying to break free from whatever you've bound him with now. Uh, I, yeah, when I yeah, finish quiet my... down over there. Hallucination, I'll get to you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, when, when this... I don't know how long this takes, this process, um, but when it's clear that it's complete, I will uh, stand up and turn back to him, and I said... And I'll, I will approach him and say, 
It was a wise decision, Archer. You yet, you yet have a chance to live through this night. And then I will... Uh, and I'll slit his throat. No. <laughs> 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 Legitimately sorry. I never said I was gonna help him. Why did this archer think I said I was gonna help his friend? I never said that. Did anyone say that? Or did I don't archer... think so. The archer. You said, so there's a chance you you said like surrender, and you may yet live tonight. Yeah, Although, I, I, guess told him, I told him twice when one. I came in that one of you would live. Yeah, so yeah. I guess he just. You know... <laughs> I said may. I mean, he didn't he realize did. how literal you were. I suppose. <laughs> Legally, you don't have ground to stand on, friend. <laughs> Why should I trust anything you say? Why should I help you now? I have been totally honest with you from the get-go. I told you it was a bad night to be a bandit and that one of you might live through the night. Everything I have said has come true. It is time that you make your decision. Will you aid us in what we want or do you want to also join your friends? Yeah, I mean, did you see what he did with those grilled berries? <laughs> yeah, listen from the... How guy. do I know you'll spare me if I help you? I am a knight of Tenyo. I have just given you my word that you can live if you help us. Uh, I I kind of talk. I talk over his shoulder and say, "Yeah, he's been telling the truth from the get-go." And I'm to him. If you want me to roll intimidation after just having literally yeah, yeah. killed his friends, I'm happy to do that too. That's fine. Okay. Ooh, big roll. Big rolls. The archer poops his pants. It looks a little bit like a uh, good berry. That's a big good berry. Oh, sorry, Adam. Did you say something? I didn't hear you. No, sorry. I was just saying we've never really used this skill, so I'm just okay. checking like what its mechanical kind of use could be. Okay, um, it's similar to persuasion. Yes. Of... Yes, it is a um, form of changing a mind. Yep. I know not of your god, but your prowess is formidable, and I do want my life. I guess I will have to trust you as much as you say. If you seem honest with your words, I will. I will trust what you say and pray you do not kill me. All right. To gamble. Does anyone else have anything they want to ask him, or is it just me talking to him? Did you ask? You have to ask him something. Uh, no, I, this is what he said. I'm expecting that you guys are in earshot. Um, I can certainly go ahead and ask him something, but did anyone else want a shot at this? You didn't like them, did you? I just, I feel like you're probably a bit upset right now if they were your friends and all. Of course I like them. I grew up with these people. Oh, well, that's good. I've been working on my people skills and it's nice to know that I read that. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> uh, while this is going on, I will have uh, dropped the corpse and I will have uh, begun investigating my hands. Okay. What are you looking for? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, <stop>. <laughs> <laughs> They're still whatever. You find your hands are still there. Cool. Covered in good fairy blood. Now, Odiri trusts the competence of your um. What's the word? Interrogation. 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 <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Really? I'm gonna I'm gonna start uh, uh, looking, investigating this corpse. You said, uh, right? Now you said like the blood was draining out of him, like in a weird kind of a way, maybe. A no, kinda, just or, like when just, someone like actually weird. Okay. have large amounts of blood. Yes. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be investigating this this okay. uh, corpse either way. I'm gonna start digging a hole, and it might look like I'm digging graves, but I'm actually just digging a hole. <laughs> just a good time. The mastiff yeah. inside you suddenly takes That's this a, moment. People mourn in different yeah. ways. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Well, I'm going to okay, ask him so, some pretty standard stuff then. I'm going to ask him, you know, you know, what he was doing in this area. And I'm, I'm particularly interested in ascertaining whether or not they took the bait of um, our, our party members as, as the, the, the bait of the trap. So I want to ask why he was in this area, what they were hoping to accomplish, um, if they regularly prey on travelers in this area. Uh, Which question do you ask first? <laughs> if they prey on travelers. I ask... Uh, <laughs> Regularly. Which one do I do first? I ask, what were you trying to accomplish tonight? We were sent by our leader to 
investigate those that the prince has summoned. We knew that they would come to check our handiwork, and we wanted to see who he was here. To ascertain how and vulnerable these people would be. He kind of looks down, like, solemnly and quite sad, and he just sort of nods. And you said your handiwork, it was you who ambushed well, the... It's definitely us who were there, but we did not do what you saw. Who did? There is a powerful, powerful magic user. And she only calls herself the Lady of Blades. Powerful magic, you say? As I move forward, much more interested in this conversation. And your leader works for her or works with her? I have no idea. We were hired by, by her to just do a few errands at first and pretend to hold up the caravans and they would do the rest. They slaughter everyone and get rid of these large stones and we get paid. All of those who traveled with the caravan are dead then? Oh, absolutely. As soon as we have ambushed them, they murdered everybody with fire, magic, and those blades. And he just looks like, you can see he's starting to, like, as if he's recounting a horrifying, frightening memory. All right. Where uh, is your leader located? He kind of, like, shuffles and stays silent for a minute or so. All right, munching with my foot and said, uh, your friends are dead. Your leader is already dead, even if he doesn't know it yet. This is your chance to take your life and leave. Don't make me regret my mercy. I didn't think you were going to say and leave. Is that what they're going to kill him? Yeah. I assume he's still going to kill him. Kill he's just world. lying right now, right? Actually, can I incite that? Is he... Can you, yeah, are you actually lying, or are you trying to... Well, is he rolling him? a roll? He's going to incite you, because he's you're still, like, in conversation with him. I, I incited him as well. If it's, if it's like, an active deception that you're... you're I'm like, not, you I'm are, not, if, nope. if your plan is to kill him afterwards, nope, my plan is exa No, no, my plan is not to kill him afterwards. I've given okay. him, I've told him exactly what I Dennis. intend to do with him. Fine. Um, I'm a very earnest he's, character. He's still suspicious. Um... He kind of looks up at you as you as you speak to him again about his life, and um, he he like looks down at his like pocket and he says, "Look inside there, and you will see." All right, I reach a hand in. What do I find? So inside is like a, a parchment, and there's like a scrolling, um, of which you um, immediately. D d deduce is uh, just like a rough sketch of the end that spine mountain range okay and then there's like a the road that you guys have just come on has been scrolled and like the hills are in there as well um and you can see like a multiple ambush sites have been marked and then um there's like a, a sort of like a tent drawn symbol um of an area in the mountains where like the camp is located okay what else do you know of the lady of the blades She does not do the fighting. Her blades do it for her. Uh, can we have a vote to shorten her name to Blady? <laughs> no, my character knew a dog named Lady once, so he likes this name. No, oh, Blady. Blady, like Lady of the Blades. Blady. <laughs> Still too close to Lady, so I'm fair. We'll do that. Okay. Does anyone Just... else have questions for this? This person. <sighs> We already asked where Blady was. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh... No, I don't have any questions. Pete? All right. Man, I can't think of anything. Then I will uh, reach down and kind of grab him by the shirt collar and pull him to his feet. Mm -hmm. And I'll say, uh, uh, your life has been spared today. If I ever see you again, particularly near your these other bandits, uh, you will 
your life will be forfeit. Uh, if you want to survive this night and live more of your life, you need to get away from here, get away from here now, and uh, stop preying upon travelers in this region. And that's, I'll leave it at that. I'm okay with other regions, but this region in particular, yeah. I've now cleansed, and I don't want more of this shit in the way. Yeah, we have the monopoly on uh, All right. attacking yeah. travelers. He, uh, he like nods and like very slowly backs away. Um, he goes to like pick up his bow. I look at him kind of very searchingly like are you sure you want to do that right now and then he like he he, he kind of doesn't do that he dropped right. the sword on his I kind hilt. of put, tilt my head back laugh and i'm like wise move maybe you will um, survive after all and he's gonna instead reach down on the other side and like pick up uh, his cloak if you let him do that yep and then you see him turn and like just run south as fast as he can. Which, by the way, south uh, is towards or away from the marking on the map where his leader, his his high depth like was. The complete, so essentially, it's. Uh, where are we? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna snap out of looking at my hands and yell, "He's getting away!" <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 grill, no. We we let him go. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I uh, clap Odiri on the back, maybe a little yeah. too forcefully for a, a someone of your size, and uh, yeah. and I say, "A glorious night." Okay, I'm gonna stagger and almost fall over, um, and say, "Yes, excellent fighting, and very impressive, very impressive work with that last one." Thank you. My my God has blessed me tonight for sure. I'm gonna say. Uh, back to sleep then, I guess. I'll take the first to watch. Thank and you, I'm going to turn into a wolf. Okay. And, uh, sort of head southward a little bit away from you. Um, so there are two corpses still, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. This is the mm -hmm. middle of the night and we're going back Did you to finish digging your hole, Steve? Um, no, I lost interest. Okay. It's tough, <laughs> you know, because you're never done. Yep. They just keep getting bigger. It keeps going, right? <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard. Sure. Uh, I'm going to, uh, uh, my experience, corpses attract animals. So I'm going to, uh, no matter how shallow the hole is, I'm going to kind of put both. Uh, I imagine the hole is like maybe uh, half a foot deep. It's really just more of kind of some scratchings. I'm going to put them on top of that little patch. Uh, I'm going to put, take two of the good berries. I have seven left, so I'm going to use two for each of them. Put one good berry on each eye as kind of a <laughs> burial ceremony. Um, okay. Then uh, I'm gonna cover them with uh, dirt, like just like kind of like enough with the quarter hose. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just, just slightly before this happens, because um, Billy mentioned he wanted to investigate the corpse. Yes. Uh, so you found a pouch of fifty golden. Nice. Ooh. Uh, two short swords, uh, a destroyed jerkin, obviously from the hammer blow. Um, okay. Um. And then uh, you bury them both. All right. Yeah, does anybody want any short sword? Uh, otherwise, I'm just gonna throw it away. <laughs> I'm it, honestly, with how poor of a job I did with burying them, you probably could have found all of that just by kind of like reaching lightly into the dirt. <laughs> if no one, if no one steps up for like that, like the sword I was will, sticking out with his hand, <laughs> I'll take a moment and place the blade in the hand of the uh, the first person I killed, uh, and leave that kind of with him, so he's buried with that okay so he had two they were both his i put um, one in either hand all right <laughs> with the good berries on that's just yeah. a really that's a way to go into the afterlife and you, oh, you, yeah. don't, you don't you don't like fill him back in with dirt he's just laying in this shallow dirt oh yeah i suppose like, that makes sense okay yep. <laughs> Fine. Yep. nice thing for people to come and see on their way it's not my job to bury the dead it's my job no, no, to no, create no. the absolutely. dead absolutely <laughs> All right, yeah, so you guys still gonna have to the animals. All right, so I, I'm happy. I, I head straight back to camp. It takes me about 20 seconds to fall asleep. I'm quite content, uh, relaxed after such a such an encounter, and uh, I fall asleep. All right. Um, um, is there more for this evening? Because it might be a good part time to cut the part. If there's uh, anything else we want to do while we're at camp? I have a little sleep? bit. Okay. Oh. Lex, did you? No, on my character also, Odiri would love to just get some sleep. Okay, 
Um, I mean, I'm going to track the other bandit and kill him. Dark. <laughs> okay. One on one. Any rolls for that or anything? Uh, I'm a wolf. I run a lot faster than him. Mm -hmm. You just roll so I know that he's running down the path. Is mm -hmm. your character low key sinister? Or what is this? Okay. You want to describe like you basically come jutting along behind him. Um, sure. Uh, so, uh, I like, mean, the scents of the night are just extra vibrant. I can see in the dark in ways that I'm not usually able to. I feel my metabolism is like faster than what it would be for a dwarf, and I'm more nimble and quick. Um, I'm breathing heavily. I'm getting that adrenaline surge, and I, I see the bandit, and I just leap on him and take a huge bite out of his neck. So as you, like, he hears the patter, like, seconds before you're in the air and he turns around and just like his eyes meet yours and then you just land on him and like completely destroy his neck with a bite yep and and then i just wander uh wander on back to the camp just sort of just sort of cruising coming down from it a bit i sleep okay. uh, uninterrupted with the clear clean conscious do of you a paladin. stay as a wolf yep okay all right and I will cut the part here. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you shortly.